Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I actually did do a random poll on Instagram to see if you guys would want to see a random facts about me video because I kind of find it hard by doing makeup tutorials for you guys to really get to know my personality and just more things about me. So I figured that a random facts video would be good. It would kind of be a fun way to just get to know a few more random things about me that maybe you wouldn't have guessed or suspected. So I'm just going to dive right in and tell you a few random facts about myself. So my first random fact is actually a funny one. It's a little bit sad, but funny. Um, I think I was in first year of university and I took a sculpting class. I do have a BA in visual arts. So I did a lot of like sculpting, photography, a bunch of kind of classes like that, um, which were really nice and fun. And I thought sculpting would be different because I do like to draw and paint. So I figured, hey, sculpting's different. It's fun. I could use it as one of my courses. So I did that class. And I think this was about second semester. So I think this was like the second class because the first one was kind of just like an intro and it seemed everything seemed really fun. But um, the second class, I just remember, like I was fine. I wasn't even nervous or anything. I remember the teacher was like, okay, we're gonna stand up and someone's going to do a little bit of a demonstration to show us like something so we could see what we're gonna do for the rest of the class. So it seemed pretty good. All of a sudden, I remember just like standing with a bunch of my classmates and just feeling like weird. I felt like all of a sudden I had like ringing in my ears, like my palms were sweaty and like I didn't know why. It's not like I was nervous or anything. So it was just like a weird sensation. And then it was just like, bam, I fell to the floor. I don't remember anything. I just remember like waking up and seeing like so many people around me. It was like all my classmates and the teacher and they were just like, Julia, like, Julia, are you okay? Like, hello. I remember wiping my nose and then I saw blood on my hand because I guess I fell on the floor obviously and I banged my nose a little bit so my nose was bleeding. I don't think I broke it, but <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty straight to me still, so I don't really think I broke it badly or anything. I just obviously hit my nose and it started bleeding. So I remember just being like so traumatized and I don't know if I cried in class, but I remember my dad picked me up from school and I remember <laughs> crying in the car with him because I was just like so like weirded out and like I didn't know why I fainted. I then found out that a couple of other people in the class said that they had felt faint. So I don't know if something like the vents or something or there wasn't enough air getting into the class because we were working with chemicals, I guess, like in the art studios. There's a lot of chemicals lying around and if it's not properly ventilated then you could get into trouble so I think that's what happened to me so some, for some reason I fainted I went to the hospital and everything and everything was okay I didn't have a concussion or anything <laughs> but I remember going to my class the next week and I was like traumatized I told my sister to come with me because I don't know why I had like PTSD I was afraid I was gonna faint again it was like it turned into this anxiety thing about fainting and I was just like so embarrassed and just like scared like god forbid I faint in front of everyone again in the class for some reason so I just had like this fear associated with that class so I remember just like having my sister there with me she was literally gonna walk me to my class and just like wait around outside for my class to finish so that was really nice of her <laughs> so I remember just like going with her and like you can kind of see the class through the window because it was like at the bottom floor and I remember just being like I can't walk in like I could not bring myself to walk into that class I was embarrassed I was scared all because I fainted the week before for I don't know why so I I literally told my sister I'm like I can't go back to this class I think I'm gonna drop it so I literally dropped that sculpting class because I fainted so that was like so random I just remember I don't know why people knew me as like the girl who fainted in that class so I am prone to fainting because I actually faint a lot like in the past I've like fainted for a ton of reasons like if I have a stomach ache or anything I faint easily it runs in my family my mom is a big fainter so I definitely am as well and it's honestly the worst feeling and the random fact is that I dropped out of a university class because I fainted and was too scared to go back in. So random fact number two is that I am obsessed with arm scratches. I know that might sound weird, but I don't know if like anyone's like me. I know a lot of people like massages. I'm like, I love those too. But there's something about like being a scratched. I think it's like in Italian, it's called gratini because there's just like that really nice feeling when someone is scratching your arm. And it's honestly the best feeling ever. And I know that I'm weird because I'll always make my boyfriend or even my friend Anna would actually even do it for me in class. We'd be like sitting next to each other and she would literally like scratch my arm. So it's actually really funny because I'm literally addicted to, if I'm with my boyfriend, I'm always like, can you just scratch my arm? Can you scratch my back? Like, I just want to be scratched. It's the best feeling ever. Let me know if any of you guys are like me and need to be constantly scratched. I know that sounds weird, but it's like the best feeling. Not like obviously a rough scratch, but like soft and like, I don't know, I just love it. So let me know if you're like me and I'm not a crazy one. 
Random fact number three is that when I was younger, I was crazy afraid of thunderstorms. I literally remember it would like, I don't know, it would totally make me go crazy. I would just be so scared. I remember one time I was like locked in the bathroom because my mom's like, just go somewhere where there's no windows because I would think every time there was a thunderstorm, there would be a tornado. So I was like deathly afraid of thunderstorms. <laughs> I remember I was in Mexico one time with my dad. We were on vacation with my cousins and we were supposed to go out for dinner, but it was thunderstorming. Like, you know, like the tropical storms, they're like quick and short. So it was kind of like a bad little like 15 minute tropical storm. And I remember I was just like not wanting to go because we had to like go through like a little pathway to walk to where the restaurants were and it was kind of outside but I like told my dad I'm like I'm not going outside I will not go I was like so scared and I would literally go crazy and like hysterically cry if it was thundering and lightning because I thought there would be a tornado the movie twister literally traumatized me <laughs> so actually it's funny because my boyfriend was actually scared of that same movie when he was younger he told me there was crazy storms in Poland where he grew up and the thunderstorms were like 20 times worse than it is here in Toronto so he actually had kind of the same fear as me when he was a little kid so we kind of joke about it now if that movie's ever on tv twister we literally laugh about it because obviously now i'm not scared of thunderstorms and toronto's not known for tornadoes <laughs> even though we did have one a few years ago which is kind of random but <laughs> so yeah now i actually do not care about thunderstorms i actually like them in a weird way because i just find it like cozy like when you're in your house obviously i'm not like walking outside i don't want it to start thundering and lightning but if you're like in your house i find it really cozy and like you put in like a movie or like read a book i actually like thunderstorms now but before i was so afraid Random fact number four is that I am crazy obsessed with potatoes. Yes, you heard me. I love potatoes. I can literally eat potatoes every single day and I'm not kidding. I don't know if it's the fact that I'm Italian and my mom would literally just make pasta like every single day when we were kids growing up. So I got really sick of pasta, even though I love it now, but like I would never have potatoes growing up. I remember if she like made anything with potatoes or like mashed potatoes, it was like, oh my God, you made potatoes. Like I was like so excited. So I don't know if that just turned me into like a crazy potato lover, but I'm seriously obsessed with potatoes. Everyone makes fun of me because if I'm like making lunch or dinner I always like have a potato on the side some sort of potato dish I could literally eat them anyway and they're honestly so versatile and they're good for you even though they're carbs I still believe that they're super good for you there's lots of vitamins in them obviously in moderation but I could seriously eat them every single day so I definitely have a potato obsession are you guys obsessed with potatoes as much as I am let me know in the comments Another random fact, I think this is number five, I'm not sure, but my next random fact is that I won't go out without painted nails. I actually haven't had my nails unpainted for like years. I feel like I just always do them myself. Yes, these are my natural nails. I actually have a couple of ones that are glued on that broke, but for the most part, these are all my natural nails. You can see this one is fake because it actually broke, but like I won't cut them all if one breaks, I'll just put on a fake one. But I do have pretty good long natural nails. So these are all natural, like my thumb is natural over there. You can see, and I paint them myself. A lot of people will like ask me, oh, where do you get your nails done? And I'm like, I just do them myself. So I'm definitely obsessed with painting my nails. It's really fun. It's kind of therapeutic, even just to like watch a good show, paint your nails. Me and my sister Lisa will always do it together because she does her nails as well like me. And I'm just obsessed with painted nails. I actually haven't been out without my nails painted for the longest time. That's probably bad because you should give your nail buds a rest and a little bit of breathing time. But I'm just, I don't know. I just find like my nails look weird if they're not painted. So definitely I have a nail painting obsession. My next random fact is that when I was younger, I wanted to be a famous singer. So I always loved makeup from a very young age. I would always like borrow my mom's makeup and wear a ton of makeup when I was younger. But my one true passion when I was younger was to be a famous singer. But my one problem was is that I was too shy and embarrassed to sing in front of anyone. So I would literally just sing in front of myself and that was pretty much it. I remember I took singing lessons for a couple of years. Nothing really came from it. It was just like a, an experience, I guess. And I was just too shy to sing. And there are actually a lot of singers in my family, like my aunt loves to sing. My cousin actually is a singer. Some of you guys might know her. She is Kai. She did that really popular song with Flume called Never Be Like This. So singing definitely runs in the family. So I think I can kind of sing, but I'm not really good at it. I just love to do it as a kid and I was just too shy to make anything of it. So that was just a childhood dream of mine. 
The next random thing about me is that when I was younger in elementary school, we had speeches. I don't know if you guys did in your school too, but every year we would have speeches. And I actually won first place in my speeches. And I remember going, there was like different levels. And I remember going to like the very final finals. And I didn't win first place at the final finals, but I did win first place, I think for the, for the first two competitions or something like that. So it's kind of random because I am more of a shy person, I guess you could say, but for some reason when it came to speeches, I would just do really good at them in school and my dad helped me a lot. He really coached us. He was like very passionate about our speeches. I don't know why, because even my sisters were good at them too. And he would literally, I remember like standing in front of him. He used to smoke back then, he doesn't anymore. And I remember he would just be like in the basement smoking and I would just be like saying my speeches over and over and over. And we would just like rehearse them with him. So it was really funny. It was kind of a cute little thing. So I still have some of my first place little awards laying around and it's funny to see because it's kind of weird and random that I was good at speeches when I was younger. So the next random fact about me is that I have never smoked weed or cigarettes. I don't know if that's kind of weird. I am 27 years old and for some reason those things just never interested me. I have nothing against it. You could totally do weed and like smoke cigarettes in front of me. I don't mind it. I just, I don't know, for some reason I never felt interested in doing it. I just have no desire. I mean, my dad used to smoke when I was a kid so that like turned me off from it. He did quit, which is amazing, but um, I just never wanted to smoke. I just don't like the smell. I just don't like anything about it. And weed, I don't know why. I mean, everyone always says you have to try it once, you have to try it. I just feel like I'm prone to anxiety. So I just feel like I would have a panic attack or like trip out for some reason. So I've never tried weed. I'm 27. Never Never smoked a cigarette so that's kind of maybe a random fact that you guys would not suspect so let me know if I'm missing out and I should try it maybe one day but for now I just don't really think I have any desire to do it the next random fact about me is that I am double jointed I used to be able to do it a lot when I was younger I'm kind of scared to do it now because I am older and I don't know how my body will react but I used to be able to lift my hands from behind my back over to the front and holding them together so it's kind of weird but i'm double jointed even my sister lisa can do the same thing so we're kind of weird like that <laughs> the next random fact about me is that my favorite instrument is the saxophone i just love it guys so much if it's like i know it's like kind of like those like they could be like those cheesy songs with like the saxophone but i actually think they're so sexy and just romantic and i love songs with the saxophone in them they could be super beautiful and i just think it's an amazing instrument and i do love jazz type of music so definitely the saxophone is a must i'm obsessed Okay, another random fact is quite a funny one. This goes back over 10 years ago. This is when like the internet and MySpace was a thing. I remember I talked to this guy off of MySpace. He was actually from Canada, but he was traveling all over South America and we kind of had a love connection. <laughs> I mean, we never met or anything, but we would literally talk all the time. We were like obsessed with each other and I thought I was in love. I was 16 when we first started talking and we talked for like two years, I think, pretty much like steady, even though he was traveling all over South America. And he even wrote me letters from South America. So I still have two letters from him that were like handwritten and he was like very romantic the way he wrote. And I just thought it was funny because I know that the internet was like very taboo back in the day. And now a lot of people would have to use the internet to meet people people because it's really hard to meet people in person um, so I thought it was funny that he was like my kind of little secret back in the day <laughs> so I kind of did have a little internet relationship if you will and I would like to know if anyone else ended up finding someone off of MySpace I know back then it was kind of sketchy because like you don't know who you're talking to but um, I definitely knew that he was a legit person I even saw him on like webcam once so it was legit <laughs> So that is a very random fact that I thought I was in love when I was 16 with a person I never met. By the way, another random fact is that lately I've been obsessed with painting mugs. These are like those clay mugs. You can go to those places to give you like a bunch of paints and you can paint whatever you want. You pay like a set price and then they'll fire it up for you. They glaze it for you. It's all obviously food grade safe paints and everything. So I've been obsessed with actually me and my sisters and my mom. This is like our little tradition now. We'll go to this place and it's really cute because it's like therapeutic. We find that like you just literally zone out for like three hours. You're painting, you're talking. It's such like a chill thing to do and it's actually an obsession of ours now. So that's a random fact. I actually painted this mug and I'm obsessed with big mugs like this because I drink a lot of tea. So this one was Rome inspired and like Italy inspired. So I did the Colosseum, a little gelato. 
a pink little car and a lemon. <laughs> So it's really fun. As you know, my background, I used to draw and paint a lot. I went to school for it. It was my major and I really love to do realistic portrait drawing. So that was like, I just found I used to paint a lot more when I was younger. So it's kind of like my love for drawing and painting transformed into my love for makeup because it's like you're painting your face pretty much. That's why when I get like new makeup, I'm like so excited just to play around and create fun looks because it reminds me of literally painting. So I miss doing that, but this little kind of hobby that we've picked up lately is fun because it gets me painting again and it's super therapeutic. So another random fact is that I'm obsessed with succulents. Lately, when I moved into this new place, which was like three, four years ago, I've just been obsessed with decorating our condo with a bunch of nice greenery and succulents. I just think that they're so fun and they add a lot of life into a place. So I really love succulents and planting nice greenery in the house. And I also love to put them into random things like this mug. This was a really cute makeup mug I got at Michael's actually, and I thought it was really cute. So I actually like to put succulents in a bunch of random things that maybe you wouldn't expect. And I also put this little cat into this was actually I think supposed to be like a paperweight or like no you can actually put like a little candle in there there's like the tiniest little opening and I decided hey maybe I could fit this little succulent into there and we'll see how long it lasts this has lasted me three years <laughs> in this little thing every time my dad comes over he like admires it because he's like I can't believe that it's been alive for like three years with so little soil honestly guys there's like very very little soil in here and for some reason this little cactus loves it in here and he's staying strong it's been like three years I hope I don't jinx it but really cute so just goes to show you that you could literally put succulents into anything pretty much <laughs> and it's fun to be creative with what they can go inside so this crystal little candle holder was super cute and I'm just obsessed with them okay guys so that is the end of the random facts about me I don't know how many there were I just kind of had a bunch of random facts so I hope that you guys like this video and maybe you got to know a couple more random things about me that you didn't really know I know it's kind of hard to really get to know people when they're doing makeup tutorials because you can't really talk about yourself as much so I hope that this gave you a little bit of an insight into myself and maybe you feel like you know me a little bit better because I really want to connect with you guys so you kind of know who you're watching. So let me know if we have any of the same random facts. I'd love to know if you guys can relate to any of mine. So please leave that in the comment section down below. And also guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!